Hello, hello, hello everyone, Zildjian here with another episode of City Skyline. So I think I'm just gonna stick to three speed unless I see problems arise. Like right now, we, we need some crime stopping. Oh, we, we need some police, I mean, how do I speak English, bro? So, uh, let's see, the, the American police station is a little smaller, but that's okay. It's not jimungus. Everything else is European except for the high school, because the high school is really big. Although, I guess it doesn't really matter, since I don't plan on building anything on this side anyway. So, right now, we're gonna have uh, increased demand for, you know, the... Um, residential so I'm gonna go ahead and build a bridge over here Ooh, nice okay and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna build up on this side I don't want to build too close over there I mean eventually I will be buying other tiles so I can build on the other side and if I did try, you know, at, you know, testing city on by myself, you know, connecting these two ends of traffic and the highway, the, the other cities, I mean, the other cities, just all the cars just go straight through my town and it's really annoying. So I did look up, you know, what's a proper strategy to deal with that. Some people just suggested just never connect the highways at all or to use like a beltway or a ring road. Um, so that's probably enough. So I don't want to build too close because in case of flooding. Although I haven't really had that much trouble with flooding as long as you don't, don't mess anything up. Oh my god, I want to do a straight road. Okay, perfect. Let's have that. And a little curve. Okay. That curve looks a little unnatural, but that's okay. So what I want is to have just one area where it's gonna be just be a right. Oh God, what happened there? Stop curving, please. So if you notice, I installed more mods, of course. I just wanna have one area where it's just regular roads. So this area will be more gritty. I can put in services and schools and stuff like that. And now for like over here, I want the area to be a little bit more like oh, more wavy. So it'll be less, you know, it'll be less boring. I would like to think so. Of course, I'm not the best at designing this stuff. Because we're going to have tons of you know space because I did do a mod where I can do um, up to 25 tiles, which is the maximum. Okay, so this will be like a nice wavy suburban area. It's definitely a waste of space, you know, because you could have just curved it. I mean, usually I could have just made grid. So what I want to do is just turn this all into residential area. And then I'll have the, sh oh God, the shoreline will be um, commercial. Course. We're gonna need some water, some pipes. Okay, I wanna do it from down here in case of services and whatnot. And I'm just gonna go ahead and connect it over there. Gotta make sure to connect all this water over here. So yeah, definitely if I do in three speed, I feel like I can, up, I can you know, build up more. We get more milestones, reach more milestones faster and build up the town a lot faster. Cause there's, there's gonna be so much to build. Okay, let's see, uh, we're running out. 
Well, it's not that we're running out of powers. We don't have the power. See, we got 33. Okay. Okay. Did I not... Why is the electricity not showing? Oh, because I have to build it. Okay. Also, I have this city's vitals mod, but I don't really pay attention to it, unfortunately. So, okay, what we're going to do is build a power line over here. Oh, wait. Actually, try to zone in some commercial over here. And then I don't have to create the power... I mean, I still have to create the power lines, but I don't have to create as far, you know, cut into it. So, okay. Bam. Right there. And now we should have power and water. And we're actually running low on water. Oh, right. The budget. I think I adjusted the budget. So move up the water. We're going to do a lot of expanding. We're just actually, we have a decent income. So I'm just going to leave at 100% now. Or at least try. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, whatever. 101, 100%. That's close enough. So, what? There's still not enough power. Okay, so let's go ahead and build another wind turbine. You know, once I, you know, advance enough, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna delete all these wind turbines because they're taking up so much space and costing me so much money. Can I take another loan? No, not yet. Okay. So right now we need more industry and we have these farms all built up and what the F? Why do you also so many billboards? Is it because the plots are too small? Is it because it's European? Okay, whatever. So what we want to do is zone in some more industry over here. But also I'm going to try to like upgrade the power services because I've, I've I've checked from my, uh, you know, other cities. Basically, what um, you want your um, your your industry to be leveled up so that way they don't get abandoned so quickly. And I just spent all my money, didn't I? Yes, I did. So they they really like fire ser fire station services. Now they can upgrade. They can hire a, a more educated workers because right now the level one factory only requires uneducated workers and once it if you don't upgrade it when you know all everyone becomes a college graduate and stuff they start working at the factories and they'll go straight for like you know the ceo hedge fund manager stuff like that you know engineers they're gonna working at the offices and the upgraded buildings so the, unfortunately the problem with the farm is they only hire uneducated workers and they will never upgrade so this is maxed up so at least these can upgrade and uh, let's see one of these is upgraded see bam oh we got the boom town we unlock some transportation ferries buses or specialization some new policies some highways so okay see now they require lots of educated workers so yeah, that's that's good. Because if you don't upgrade them, they're gonna end up having, um, they're gonna have worker shortages and we're low on garbage, how was I gonna say garbage production. We're high on garbage production. We're just low on car garbage uh, processing. Okay, so we need more commercial. So I'm gonna go ahead and zone in the rest of this, you know, nice beachfront property. Do we have power and stuff? Yes, we do. Okay. So let's go ahead and speed things up a little bit. So yeah, we got the transportation here. So I would like to start off and yeah, let's go ahead and create a ferry pier, ferry stop system. Okay. So first we need the depot. I'm going to, I, oh my God. So I'm just going to build it over here. So it's a little bit further away. That's not what I wanted to do. And then we can go ahead. Do it like that. Maybe that looks good. 
See, this is why sometimes you gotta mess around with this mods over here. Bam, now it's the ground instead of a bridge. And we need power for that. Also, water. Uh, I'm just gonna extend it a little bit. That just sends out the, the ships. Can we take another loan here? I'm gonna go ahead and pay back this 3,000 so I can get 20,000. Look, borrow 20,000 because we're gonna need a lot of money for this. We're gonna have the ferry piers. Um, yeah, that looks about good. We're just gonna have it, you know, to cross the borders. It looks like I might have to destroy some of this. Why is there no power? Oh my god, we're using even more power. But uh, luckily, we unlocked these advanced wind turbines. And we just ran out of money. Okay. We didn't run out, but I spent... I'm spending so much money. So that's a good thing about having everything put on three times speed. You can uh, make sure you have... Oh god. Okay, luckily this is cost free. Because I'm running dangerously low on run money. So like I said, put on three times speed. And then I don't have to worry too much. So I'm told that you want to have like a ferry path. Set up a ferry path in the middle. So you can connect all your lines and stuff. I'm just gonna do it over here. Um, I don't think you want to connect it at the same place, although it might not matter. Okay. Oops. Space already occupied. Okay, let's see. Add a stop. Complete the line. So here we got a ferry and if you don't have the mod, I have the improved transport, pu improved public transport version two mod. There's a bunch of extra stuff here. So normally you would have to do this to, you know, increase whether you have one or two of them. See right now it's not, oh shit, it's actually working, yeah. So what, instead I just click add vehicle or remove vehicle. Yeah, so that makes it a lot easier because you have to like use guesswork with the budget system. Uh, did I just add add one? I let me, oh God. Let me check the line. Oh, it's only one vehicle. Okay, that's good. And why is nobody taking it? <coughs> okay, we have a bunch of dead corpses piling up. Let's see if we can take care of that. I actually have the mod where I can do the funeral home, so it's a lot, uh, a lot more efficient. I mean, I, I can. This is the, this is a less efficient crematorium that I can um, build right away instead of unlocking it. But right now, I'm gonna go with the cemetery because it doesn't cost that much to be honest. And we're gonna go ahead and put it over here. Yeah, this is my original goal, right? Yeah, I want to put it in the service roads because the car is going to be coming in and out. So I want to have extra lanes. So that way they don't block. <clears throat> if I put this like on this side, it will probably block traffic. Actually, this might actually be bad. See, look right here. It's cutting through the middle. This is going to cause so much traffic. So I don't, I think this might actually be wrong. So I guess I'll switch it to here. Because if it blocks traffic over here, it's... It doesn't matter. Most cars are not going to be coming over here. Lots of cars are going to be going over there. So we can, if anything, like right now you can still move it. But once there's corpses inside, you can't move it. But there's always the move it mod. So I can still move it. Even with the move it mod. And snap in place. Yeah. But if you don't have the mod, you cannot move it. Yeah. So you have to be more careful of your placement. Let's see, do we got any people? No, we don't. We're just losing money on this. Okay, we still got a huge demand for residential. Um, oh my God, why is there a house over there? 
I guess I can go ahead and zone this in for now. But later on, if necessary, we can put in parks, you know, fire stations and stuff like that. Because the residential area is not going to have that much traffic. The idea is I'm going to have mostly residential on this side and they're going to be taking the ferries over here to get to work and to get to, yeah, to the shopping centers. Zero passengers. Wow. That's... <laughs> Let's see how much money that's costing me, actually. $900. Okay, that's fine. We can we can afford it. We're, we just have to build up more. Okay. Okay, let's see. Um, we're going to try to upgrade some more, maybe. What else can we put here? We can put in a clinic. Hopefully that'll increase a little bit extra. And then some of these will evolve, I mean evolve, upgrade into level 2, bam, like this. So they can hire more workers, because I, I, there's a demand for industry, but I want to try upgrading them. Because the industry will get abandoned really easily if I don't upgrade them, because the, I need more educated workers. And then once they're all abandoned, it's going to be like a mess to deal with. So right now I need more industry, so I'll just go ahead and upgrade that. Do we have access to parks yet? Oh, actually we do. So we can actually place down a park and that'll increase the demand a little bit. I'm not sure what, what is this? $8 a week, $160 a week, $125 entertainment. What? Why is this so cheap? $8 a week. And it's radius is huge. Like I don't really understand because like some of these like the radius is like really small. Like look at this. Look how much smaller the radius is entertainment value and it costs $40 a week. It's so much more expensive and all these homes are getting upgraded now. And that's going to provide a huge boom to the population. Well, there's going to be lots of empty homes. It's not necessarily going to. It's not, it, I mean, it's definitely gonna help. It's gonna increase the land value of a surrounding area. So you, so as soon as you know people wanna move in, they'll just move straight in. So let's see if anyone's using this yet. No, there's not. I guess because everyone's just using the ferry. I mean, they're not using the ferry because they're just using the bridge, which is a little bit unfortunate. I set this up all for nothing. That's okay. And let's go ahead and zone in more industry. I just want to check out. Oh, yeah. Um, we got lots of imports and lots of exports. So what I want to do is check out what level these things are. So these are all level ones and some of them are level two. So let's see what else can we do to help out. Uh, do they have enough good fire coverage? Because I could always do more of that. I mean, really unreal. It is really unrealistic. You're not gonna have a fire station around every block in real life, but in this game, it actually helps quite a bit. See, bam! Now some more is upgrading. And that will help satiate the demand for the the industry. What I really need is like freight transportation, but I don't have that yet. Some more is upgrading. These factories are becoming bigger now. Look at all that pollution. This one is on its way to being upgraded to level three. We need, yeah, actually need more educated workers, not enough educated workers. So let's check out the education over here. Oh no, no wonder no one's using the ferry. I didn't even connect to the road. Oh my god, I feel dumb now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm so I'm so smart, bro. <laughs> no wonder it's not working. Okay, this one is not good because it's all low it's too low. So I'm just gonna use the cheat, I mean not cheat, the mod. Move it to make it higher. 
I mean, it technically is cheating because in the game you're supposed to use like terraforming tools to like to do that. And now the par <laughs> look, <laughs> how are people gonna get up and down? But let's forget that for a second. Okay, connect that over there and um, I'll get this out of my face. I want to make sure it's forced to ground because I don't, I mean, it'll look nicer if it's like this. Go ahead and zone in more of that. So, oh God, what? Okay, yeah. So now there should be people using the ferry, the pier. Bam, look at all these people. Okay. So, oh, look, you see, the ship has already got, oh, God, Jesus. There's a lot of people getting waiting online for the ferry. Oh, no, <laughs> the ferry can only transport 50 people, but there's like 100 people waiting on the ferry stop. So that, I mean, we can just add an extra ferry maybe or create a second line. But yeah, so for now, I'm going to go ahead and leave it off here for now. You know, for this episode. So, yeah, we got our ferry system in place. Sometimes you got to make sure you have to connect these things, you know. <laughs> Don't be like me. You forget everything. So, yeah, hopefully everyone's enjoying this series. And you can have a quick laugh about my silly mistakes, you know. Forgetting how to play this game, yo. So, yeah, thank you for watching. So, be sure to subscribe, comment, rate the video. Hopefully you learned something, you know. Got to connect everything with roads. So, yeah. As always, thank you for watching. Until next time, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.